Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of Le Mans Lap Attack. This is actually going to be the very first installment where we use a modern car. And when I say modern, I mean something from the 21st century. We are going to be using the Aston Martin DB11. And I was actually hoping that they'd put this car in the game. They actually did this... I can't exactly remember when, but I'm going to say... At least five or six months ago. And it looks astonishing. Now before we get started, let's take a look at the lap times we've got so far. The Ferrari F40 is still on top of the board with a 337. The last car we did was a Mach 1 which beat the Corvette and that is between the two cars at a 351. So let's check the car settings, see that everything is set to go. Actually, you know what? Now it's set to go. I just want to make sure that we can make this go a little faster. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. I, I don't want to risk playing around with the other parts of the transmission because I don't want to make it go slower than it should. I think it'll be just fine the way it is. Let's get started. That actually turned out to be much better than I thought it would. I don't exactly have much on my mind at the moment, so I'm not going to talk as much as I usually do. Just enjoy the sound of the DB11 as I go around this track. I actually braked at the right time for once. I have been able to pull that off many times in Gran Turismo 5 and 6, but this is actually the very first time I was able to pull that off perfectly in this game. They cut that corner a little bit, but I didn't mean to do that. I'm just hoping that I don't get a penalty for that. I mean, if they were going to give me a penalty, they probably would have done that a few seconds ago. So, I think I got clean with that one.
This car handles really well, actually. When you think you're about to spin now, it recovers beautifully. Also, it does help to take your foot off the gas. Or in this case, take your thumb off the X button. That's one thing I like about this game. They actually make X the acceleration button, which is the way it's supposed to be. Three minutes and 34 seconds. Just a few seconds faster than the F40. And as much as I like the F40, I am actually glad that the DB11 is on top of the board. Because this is a fantastic car. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.